This is your chart. You're a Libra. And your moon is in Gemini, which means you're schizophrenic. You have racing voices in your head and racing thoughts and chitter chatter in your head. And sometimes you're like really funny, right? And, and one moment you're like, you snap into a rat, like a personality that is like, what happened to you? What did you do with whoever I was talking to earlier? And you become this like, you just went your way. Like if someone is thinking, feeling a different way about you or about what you're thinking, then you get mad and then it'll, it'll blow over and then you're okay. <laughs> okay, so is this probably a possibility of why I'm multi-personality yeah. disorder? Yeah, that's what it is. The moon and Gemini is your inner self. There's inside your mind. Inside my heart. In it, it's in my essence. It's in your emotions. Inside. So that's why I can go from giggly, happy, yes. oh, you're my best friend, yes. to screw you, you're not listening, yeah. go away. Yeah, because you want that person to feel the same way and think the same way you're doing. And if they're not doing it, you're going to get really mad like a Right. Like a little child's pride. In a way, because it's an irrational emotions right there. Yeah. With the, with the Gemini. I, I know with that Gemini. I think more with the emotional side of my brain. I'm not so much a logical thinker. Huh. Okay, listen. Your Venus is in Scorpio. That means you're generous. This is how you get to know people. This is what you're looking for in a relationship. So basically you have sex with people just to get to know with them. And you're desirable. And you always threaten and say, you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. Really, you're the one that might be cheating on them. And when you accuse them, you're really the one doing it. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never you're accused Libra. them. Okay, you're I, ha I have oh, you know I've never you. accused okay. any of my ex-husbands or ex-wife of doing <laughs> that. Okay? Y'all hear me? Okay, your Mars is in Scorpio, which means you're very jealous and violent when you're mad. Very possessive and jolly. I only finally felt felt jealousy in all my 43 years, first time. Jealousy. Felt jealousy with my last girlfriend, mm -hmm. and that was like a year ago. Okay, your Jupiter's in Gemini, which means you're lucky with being a public speaker, communicating, hands, transportation, speaking, communicating, being informative, and, uh, communities and neighbors. Okay, your Saturn's a Leo, which means you have to let go of being a narcissist. It means that you have a crumbled ego. Your dad gave you permission. Your dad was a narcissist. He was your biggest fan. He's like a celebrity. He puts you in place, sees your potential in being expressive and being like an actor. People want to see you be an actor and be like in shows and all kinds of good stuff, but you think, oh, I'm not that good. I'm mean you over. And then you That's exactly right. And the other things is you're probably with a super good drawler, but you're like, no, I'm some EO director. I'm just like everybody. But you're not. Yeah. You have this extra talent and expression that you're not supposed to be egotistical maining about. You're not supposed to be like, yeah, I'm the shit. I'm better than you. I'm getting this. I got I got an audition for to be an actor right now, and I don't need you. That's then, exactly it. I'm better you, with, like, paints and but, stuff. But yeah. when you act like that to your highest potential of a, uh, narcissism, the Saturn comes around and takes it away from you and crumbles you. says, no, bitch, you're not going to be... You're going to have a healthy ego. You're, you're not going to do it. Yeah. You can't succeed in this. Yeah. Quit they're putting be like, yourself up on yeah, a pedestal. Yeah, they're going to tell you, uh, we're sorry, we don't need you to come in today. We found somebody else. You're not going to be lucky. But you had the opportunity, but you did not nail it. You were a dumb narcissist bitch. And that's when you can become this an actor and this perfect writer or storyteller or whatever. Or whatever it's called. A, you know, express some person. You can always yeah. do party games too. You'd be the best at setting up party games. And also, it makes you feel like, I feel weird about having fun, and I'd rather just work. I'd rather accomplish things. I'd rather just be Exactly. Working. That's what this gives you. It might make you drink on the weekends, just once a weekend. Nope. And make nope. It restrict you. Well, don't do that. Don't even do alcohol. But, um, but it will restrict you from doing these little fun things. And so, and then I'm... I guess this is why I enjoy my work. Yeah. So that I can have fun yeah. and work at the same time. And it will give you this gift and pleasure. It will give you this uh, amazing talent of being a good party game or party thrower, being surrounded, be the heart of the thing. and yeah, Be the center of the attention, yeah, basically. Yeah, but it'll give you lessons on it and stuff. But okay. it's like you can be this freaking actress or drawler and all this good stuff. But me, and you might have heart problems too. Like, I uh, do. I have a life. heart hole. And I have a hole in the center of my heart I was born with, and I have two heart murmurs. But hey, I've been doing great. Oh, you're actually Leo rising as well. So you come up, uh, everyone listen to you and gets your attention. Your eighth house is in Aquarius, so you might, that's how you die. That's, that's the polarity of the Leo. You might, you keep on, uh, you keep on attracting all these weirdos to you, like these. Yes. You think, like, you're such a weirdo. You're like gone, so get away from me and nothing like you, but they keep on attracting you to you. And astrolog yes. astrologer people who know it all people when they come to you, and you're like, oh yes. my God, that's so different from me. 
but secretly you're kind of like that and secretly you kind of feel like it. the underdog outcast but you're really not you know what I, mean? I feel it's like I feel like I'm not smart enough because people I, I don't always get the things out from my head to go through my mouth in the right way and some a lot of the time especially with logical thinkers I have trouble understanding yeah, logical, them because logical. they have this, this horrible prayers. tendency mm -hmm. to speak up here on this level and they won't break it down into layman terms so I once I can actually understand okay if it's broken down to layman terms first then I get it. Then I can use those big words and those big phrases. I know what I'm talking about. You also have Mercury in Libra, so you talk in a balanced way, and you'll have a beautiful voice. And uh, you you have... <laughs> He's Libra. making me blush Libras here, guys. Are the Libras are the most bashful, embarrassed signs of all the zodiac. And yet I have no modesty, but if you give me a compliment... <laughs> Oh. I'm. I will completely disagree with you. Right. I will That's answer the door, butt naked, people. <laughs> but you compliment me. I'm like, no, you're no, no. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> your Lilith is in Taurus. People don't want to see you financially screwed. People don't want to see you borrow any money because you might not pay them back. You might accuse other people of stealing your stuff. But really, you're the hoarder. Your Lilith is a Taurus. I'm only a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> I, yeah. I promise, only a little, a little bit. I clean house like every six months, and I throw away, you know, all the old receipts, right. old newspapers. That's your third house but for too. six months, it's that way. I I am sorry. You have third I house apologize. Virgo. And you have third house Virgo, so you talk with properness and organized thoughts, and you'll write things down to speak with. About. Yes, you'll write things down to speak about, and then and uh, you. Does that also and you're a good accountant? With money or something. No. Well, then you could be, you could I, I'm I'm like very Let's bad you. with numbers. Yeah. I'm numeric dyslexic people. Oh. But I love to learn other languages. Is that part of it? Yeah, yeah your twelfth house is in Gemini, you're very informative. You can switch But yeah, yeah. Um I don't know. Your ninth house is in Pisces. You might take sleeping pills before you go to bed or something. All the time. And then you wake up organized and want to be yes. perfectionist. And OCD. Yes. But when you go to bed, you're like, oh, I just want to escape I'm life. just, I just crash. It is a whole cow gone take me away. Yeah. And probably the only one who just understand that was your teacher. And then you wake up to be the teacher. You are yes. ready to be the, yes. the winner. I am ready, ready to learn. I am ready to educate others. Oh, yes. I'm ready for my your job. Six, I'm refreshed. And your sixth house is in such areas. You're always looking for a new place to live and just travel to. Yeah, everything. I'm nomad 100%. I'm, and learn. And give me a hammock with a net and I will walk my way around the world and swim. Mm -hmm. And your mother was probably still like treat you like outcast a little bit. And, 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 My mother hates me and tries and to run me over money. with a vehicle. Wow. <laughs> she, she was a two face, but she still wanted you to just stay there as long as you wanted. Probably didn't kick you out really. No, she, she just forced me out by starting a okay. fight and making me miscarry. Okay, then that's horrible. And that was yeah. 11th house Taurus. Right. She's psychotic. Wow. Your ninth house is in Aries, that's your, or your tenth house is in Aries, that's your public eye, and that's how you're like, look at my shit, I'm competitive, and this is how I am, I'm going to be repulsive in the atmosphere, and the public Yes. Side. But at home, I'm this Libra, I've got a beautiful house, balanced, and I'm a hypocrite at home, or something like that. In <laughs> the just, famous words the of Marilyn Monroe, if you can't handle me at my best, you don't deserve, or, sorry, yeah, my best. wrong. Yeah. If you can't handle me at my worst, mm -hmm. you don't deserve my best. Right. So, and sorry for the screw up there, guys. Yeah. And, and also, your Saturn's in the first house of surviving. So, your dad taught you how to survive in yes. situations. Be yes. Be aggressive with that. And also, you might have a um, false identity of yourself of the who I am thing is. And how you come across. And you also come across as being... Um, being a Leo, obviously that's cool. And being the center and everything too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, your Pluto's in Libra, that means when you isolate yourself, you went to, you're like, come here, because I want to be by myself. You hang out with other people, like, to be by yourself. Like, one or two people, yeah. Yeah, you, because you're like, I gotta ask them. Gets stuff, me so. out of my head that's kind of thing. That. And then, um, your, your, 
Mm. Sorry, my phone's dying. <laughs> Venus is in the fifth house too. That means you're generous in a relationship, and uh, yes, like you're generous, and uh, you have a beautiful. I heart. love to pamper people. Yeah, yeah, and then you have a beautiful heart. Yeah, and Scorpio, and um, you love them to death, and then you're like, you're dead now, and I don't love you anymore. <laughs> yeah, actually, when I'm done with someone, I am done. You treat them like it's not even that they dead because I won't warn them. They no longer exist, like at all. Okay, we're almost done. About how you're. Okay, calling. hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Shut that up. Decline. Okay, well. Damn can, telemarketers. Okay, you can. Uh, this is how you heal yourself, and then this is how you heal others. I'm gonna get around to this. Last part. Scrolling, 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 oh, scrolling, yeah, scrolling. It's at the bottom. Here it is. Oh, this is not actually the uh, uh, asteroids. Damn it! This is not the sign. This is not the play thing that has asteroids. But uh, I can't find your asteroids, so I guess I'm done with that. Also, let me say, but your planet of luck is in um, Gemini and Taurus on the cusp. So you have lucky with possessions and food, and if you aim at it, you get it. Is so that why I'm 280 something pounds? <laughs> and then I like it. You're lucky food. with. You're lucky with it. And people don't want to see you act like that either because Lilith is in Taurus. Even if people can see other people act like that and not care, but it would be you being rebellious about it. You'll be like, I'm going to do it and I'm going to be arrogant about it. I'm going to be proud of myself. I don't care. And people I don't see that as arrogant, though. I guess this well, is why this works for me. That's what it's I don't see it as arrogant or being prideful. I see it as, I did this for you. Yeah. I did this to help you. Do you not like it? Yeah, I'm I, very, very insecure about no. myself. <laughs> like crazy that's, that's insecure. That's Libra. You're a Libra. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And the 12th house is uh, your insecurities and your hidden talents. And your 12th house just so happens to be in, and that's your feet, was um, probably the opposite. Of, uh, I don't know. Let's see. 12th house is in Gemini, the messenger. So, I don't know. And your thoughts, I guess. I don't know. Your mind. My feet and my mind. And you have beautiful friends. Um, your financial secure friends, Taurus, and you're stable with your friends. And you're beautiful around your friends. Blah blah blah. And you have. Uh, I like that. Blah blah blah. <laughs> okay. And you came here for sex, death, transformation, and being ruthlessly fearless. And you already came from being stable, financially secure, beautiful, and all that. And now it's time to reach on into the chaos of the bullshit. And, learn that balance of those two things. Chaos? Does this include drama? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Well, your fifth house is the drama house, and it's in Scorpio, intense, death, sex, restoration, all in there. And your Venus is in there, too, so you have drama with your uh, relationships all the way. And delusion. Yes. And drugs, because Neptune's in fifth house, too. Yep. And the I, drugs, those, not me. It's always been them. Yeah. And then you talk to your neighbors a lot. You, 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 you Mercury's in the third house. Uh, you I am very much a fence neighbor. Yeah, the talk and talk is good. And balance way of talking. And um, where's your third house? There's it in Virgo. The day-to-day -day routine. Good teacher, too. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Friendly.